Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. We may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. Let's rest our minds with a brain break. Right now, though, just take a moment or two. Take a deep breath, breathing in through the nose. And then breathing out through the mouth. As you breathe out, if you haven't done already, just gently closing the eyes. Just feeling the weight of the body sinking down. Noticing how the body's feeling today. Respecting that, making sure you take time out if you need it. What an amazing way to start the day. And now for our Word of the Day segment. Hey Sonia, how did the candle experiment go? Oh, it went well. I realized that when the candle is melting, the solid wax dwindles. Oh, so the candle gets smaller in size as it melts? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't just dwindle, it smells amazing too. <laughs> See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. You learn something new every day. Let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Valencia. Sports fans, if you saw a lot of ladies wearing fancy hats on social media last weekend, it was because of the Kentucky Derby, which is a horse race held every year in Kentucky. This year's winner is Venezuelan Sony Leone, who rode the very famous horse Rich Strike. They both had a stroke of good luck because this was the jockey's first time racing in the Kentucky Derby, and although they trained really hard, they were definitely not expected to win. Sony came to an epic finish leaving the crowd in awe. He won in the last few seconds, but like a horse racing legend, this man is of horse a star. Now let's head to the kitchen to see what's cooking with Chanel. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure sounds nutritious. We have hero sandwich, baby carrots, ranch dressing, fresh pear, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teacher know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Valencia. Well, I am really looking forward to lunch today. Scholars, Math of the State continues today for grades 3 through 6, and tomorrow, grades 7 and 8 will be taking their Math of the State. Get some rest and do your best. Good luck! The Punch Cheerleaders will be hosting our first ever student versus staff lip sync battle next Thursday, May 19th. If you would like to accept the challenge of taking on one of our staff members in this event to remember, please see Ms. Stone in room 189 or ask her teacher to reach out. You must choose a school-appropriate song and bring your own props. We look forward to seeing what you Patriots can bring to the battle. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now see what the weather is going to look like today with Yosdani. Thank you, Valencia. Morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect 85 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Looks like a good time to play some basketball. In other weather news, there's a method of farming that might affect your health. Farmers use a method that includes using sewage sludge that contains PFAS, which is used as a fertilizer. PFAS is a group of chemicals that can be harmful to the liver and can cause obesity, high cholesterol, and possibly cancer. The environmental activists have caught on to this problem and will discontinue this method of fertilizing. Now, let's go to Vani, our Patriot on the Go. Good morning, Patriots, and welcome to Patriot on the Go. I'm your host, Vani. Now see your Patriots' responses to today's question, which is, if you were to make a field trip, where would you want to go? Well, let's see those answers, Patriots. How would you like to be interviewed? Sure. Well, I have a question for you. If you were to make a field trip, what would it be? Jurassic Park. And why? Because I want to see the dinosaurs. Oh, 
Oh, that's very interesting. I know, right? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> if you were to make a field trip, what would that field trip be? Right, Disneyland. Disneyland? And why? Because I've never been there before. Really? Oh, that would be a great experience. Well, thank you. Now to your next Patriot. If you had to make a field trip, what would that field trip be? How is candy made? Oh, so you would go to like a candy factory. Like a candy factory and show how like they made all the different types of candy. That's cool and a very good learning experience. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, now to your next Patriot. If you were to make a field trip, what would that field trip be? Um, to go to space. To go to space? Yeah. Oh, why? Because I feel like it's very um, important for kids to like adventure space. To fly a whole class of space? Mm -hmm. That's a really good answer. Yeah. I would love to go to space. If you were to pick your field trip, what would that be? I would go to Mystic Falls because I always wanted to go there before. So you've never been? No. That would be a once in a lifetime experience. If you were to create a field trip, what would that field trip be? Go to the zoo. And why? Because uh, the zoo has a lot of animals, and I've never been there. Oh, so you like the zoo. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. If you were to make a field trip, what would that be? Um, like to go to Georgia, like a roller place, place at Georgia. So like a theme park? Yeah, I went there before. Oh, you went to a theme park in Georgia? That sounds so fun. I would love to go there, too. Well, thank you. That would be such a cool idea. If you were to make a field trip, what would that be? North Carolina. And why? Because it's fun because I'm going on a trip there. You're going on a trip? <gasps> I hope you have so much fun. Well, thank you. Now it's your next Patriot. If you were to pick out your field trip, what would that be? The beach. The beach? And why? Because I want to play with sand. You want to collect sand and you want to swim? That sounds like an amazing idea. Thank you, Patriots, for all your interesting responses and answers to the question. If you were to pick a field trip, where would you want to go? That seems like such interesting responses. Well, that's it for Patreon on the go. Bye! Today's birthday boys and girls are Aiden Fowles, Daniel DePass, and Aiden LaFosse. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Joshua. Patriots, here your POTS expectations represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Ms. Carter, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Shadid, Ms. Only, Ms. Manon, and Ms. Stone. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, what color eyes do most humans have? The correct answer is brown. Now teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. What is a common name for dried plums? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at RPT would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and a Ford Focus. Have a great day!